So these sets are not going to the mall. I got this all kind of organized. And then I have, I took out those sets and put all the ones I've created. All the used ones are in there, the SpongeBob that I did, and the Jago ones. So that's where we're gonna try to sell some of those. All right, now I'm just getting all these parts that I gathered the last, since Bay Beach, July is like 10th. So it's been like a month. Kind of just them here and there. I have a four. I have four of these, but I'm only gonna take three tomorrow. So it's, I only have three for tables. Um, that's all I need. Usually the the summer shows I don't get as many tables, and then the winter I'll do. I'll get two extra six foot tables because it's busy and I want to bring a lot. The final tote is the one I need. <laughs> that's gonna work on gonna work on the the general like six dollar stand Let's see if I can get that one shirt up this one really had a rough ride back from Bay Beach it's coming apart I think it might have been the one that did come apart and the table fell I can't remember exactly wish I was on camera but I can't exactly lift it off of here. I guess I can one by one. I better use two hands. All right, this is going to be a process. So I have to, I have to, I had them all joined with this, but that's what was causing it to break everywhere else because all the pressure was not letting it come apart there. So now we're going to try to get all these duplos connected so they can't just kind of fall apart from each other. Let's see what happens here. So I don't know how to work with it, but I'm going to start by trying to work this way. I think I have everything lined up. So, you know, this one, I don't know why this one needed that, but you know, like there's two plates here, one here. It's just the way when I was building it, just for some reason, it all looks pretty lined up. Maybe this might need a second plate in it, but I don't know. See how it works. Yeah, so that's definitely a plate short. I mean, yeah, definitely a plate short. It seems like it wants to go in. It'll go in there, but then it comes back out. So I'll have to add a plate there and just keep testing. Make sure all these ones all should be lined up. So now it seems like this one is a plate short. <laughs> I don't know how I get to this point because you know there's two bricks, two plates and a duplo and two bricks. A duplo is two bricks high? Two duplo, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna add a plate to this one. Let's see if, what happens. Final conclusion, I think this will solve it. I took off these, I don't know how I came to the conclusion to use these in the first place. Maybe it's because the parts I had. Um, but I added a brick in here. With that plate, I'm gonna have to take this plate out because this is just, it's too long for this one. And I think I'm gonna have to take this plate out I put in. So take out these two plates, but only when I do the other two, I'm just gonna take off that and add a brick and see if that evens it back out. All right, <laughs> now they seem to line up. So trial and error. seem to line up. Now once you get okay, once you get all the all the studs connected all all the way down, then it seems to go in pretty well. So that's good. So now from there, I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna somehow use a combination to connect this gap or maybe I should connect the gaps. This is where it's real bendy. Not so much anywhere else. So maybe I need to secure this area best I can. Let's go from there. Alright, that's what the first layer is going to look like. 
and I think I'm just gonna slap that on there and call it good I, I'm not sure I guess I can look into see those are again that's another difference I think I don't think I actually need that but actually for it to sit right I might need to do that so I'll probably add some more to that but this goes on nice it's like stitch stitch welding it's a different process totally different what am I talking about all right it's not perfect and I have heavy thoughts of gluing this but for now we're gonna see how it works through you know Brick World Michigan and Brick World Fort Wayne coming up and then Reevaluate from there. I might end up getting glue, but it's it's good. It's it does seem to come apart. It's like somewhere in here. That's where the stress is. But I'm gonna I'm gonna re re stitch all these through here like I had it. So hopefully that won't happen. Right, I've listened to some help to get this back in order. Work on the next two. Just gotta add that one row of bricks and take off these and. See if we can get this done. It's three o'clock. I gotta get to the post office by five, but usually I quit at four. I was short, gonna be short one of these plates. So I'm putting them at the end, but I can steal from this thing. It's gonna be destroyed. This was my original like uh, CNF stand at the conventions. And I built a tall one. My video evidence, in case I forget how it goes. And the third section. So just need to pick out one of those. And one of these to finish it. Alright, so I have six more of those to do. I only have one of these, but I actually have five here. I need four of these per section. So six, these are three sections I just did. So, so I'm gonna order 23 of these. I don't have more, but how many more do I have actually? There's actually four, five, six, there's seven. So I'll order 20. And then uh, I have all these plates I need, all these plates, all these plates. I have all the rest, I just need those. All right, work day's over. I had the post office now, leaving one soldier behind. Wounded soldier. It's real bad. But the good news, I have the base plates ordered. And once I get here, I will make this a priority to do first. The finale. She's molting, losing all her feathers. Still quite a bit, we picked a ton of them. There we go. Time to make some jam. It's winter time goodness. And some for now. Alright, early Saturday morning. I got an hour and a half to pack orders before I gotta get upstairs and get ready to go. <laughs> so Order. I did trick the system not to put an 80 lot order in this number so I can get this done with $300 and 157 lots that is it's a great morning here's the most expensive order of the morning and the shortest time it will one of those guys $40 turn over years and uh, that guy and then there's a extra piece in there one of the uh, Happy moments of the morning. Let's 
just let's just buy them all. They said, just buy them all. Thank you. All right, leaving the basement. Made it to the mall. I'm loading. File cabinet acquired. Going down. So one hour left. I don't get much footage here. I only brought one stand today, so I had to fill it up a little bit more. Not sure if I showed this, but it's all well, these we got today. Good stuff. All right, we got our new stand that's reinforced. Toss it up in there. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not saying the figures won't fall off, but at least it won't break so much. All right, back home. I'll put away. Almost 9 p.m. on Saturday. Got a couple of things of mail over your way. Five of those, and three of those, all 40% off Lego.com, and seven of these. VIP treasure sets. Uh, what is it? August 22nd? Going to those 99 plus days on eBay. Last seven Vikings sold. Series 20. Along with a single here and a single here, right back to back. Castle. Next one, night slot, castle, castle. Someone asked me at the show, one of the other vendors, what sells the best. I said Ninjago, but then second is castle. Obviously, I just don't have much, uh, like, a rare Star Wars. There's a Star Wars pack, but obviously Star Wars sells some more castle. So... Got work ahead of me here. I sold that converter box, <laughs> the TV converter box for 20 bucks I got last weekend at Goodwill as well. It's in that box ready to go. Kids from Wisconsin. Mullet championships. Our neighbor kid has a pretty good one. I'm, he didn't go to this though. So. <laughs> the teen winners. Let's see, that's Green Bay right there. Wow. Alright. Just turned over to the 6 o'clock hour. Here we go. 22 orders on Bricklink. 15 on Brickall is like blowing me out of the water. Like, how does that happen? 2,600 lots for, or items, 482 lots, $1,200. So. There's a one lot item over almost close to $500, so the most expensive Lego set that I've received in this collection that I just completed, so that was awesome to see. Uh, but I have some work ahead of me now. Order number three is the one I had to skip on Saturday. It's because I had uh, too many lots for me to get out in time, so... But I love a lot of lots, so now you have my daughter buying from you too. LOL. Thank you for all your hard work. Please keep making YouTube videos. Thank you. And uh, this is my the person that's bought the most 
orders, the most uh, quantity of orders by a couple of now. There's actually a second order I have to pull, and they bought stuff on eBay, so I, I, I held these back from shipping them out, because I'll put them in these two other two orders, so. Awesome, thank you so much again. Three, four, five, six, seven, keeping me, uh, keeping me going. We are going. Two of these. Sweet. All right, the full order here. 81 lots. Order number three is down. These guys got in the way. Get out of the way, guys. Big one. All ready to go. Guess I don't know why I'm unwrapping it, but <laughs> Imperial Trading Post. Amazing set. Fourteen uh, skeletons. Go with these this order and this eBay order. And here it is. More parts. Awesome. Thanks again. 18 is a brick out order. Awesome viewer of the channel. Awesome, thanks again. Last part to order 21. So they saw this on, uh, on the video that I showed this. Awesome forklift. Just clocked, clocked clicked the 9 o'clock hour. That order number thirty. Don't even have to look at the next one because I figured to be in the second, in the next, the next drawer. These two. That's it. 37 orders, 9.16 a.m. Just so gotta get the shipping labels and out the door. Should be done in about less than 30 minutes. Time for breakfast. It is done. It is done. And I didn't get to show this yet. I got it all. I just took my old one. This one's like six inches longer than my other one that I had, so I figured I can still put our own stuff in here, and then this will be for the Brickling store for now until we fill it up. So it's awesome. Thanks to Tavern Bricks. I should Instagram post it now. Where it's at. All right, I had some help to get these all back in order. Got to relist those, and yeah. It's about four hours to do a bigger job, too. Gonna get this put away first. This is uh, more parts I got over the brick store file. Not many parts, about $500 worth of parts, but there's one in here that's worth, this is almost $100 right now, just for these this bag worth of parts. All right, we have two extra part lots, but one lot was in here, so call it even, I guess. Um, 2,200 items. 554 is my price for the number one sale. So, upload for noon. Things are gonna get crazy. Look at these bad boys, they're heavy. All right, we got some bags sorted. These are just the ones that are not in here. You gotta watch out, because there's like, same numbers. 21s, and then there's another one somewhere. It's the same number, but big job ahead. Big job, what did I do this for? Bag 32 down, gotta start somewhere. And I brought in some reinforcements. So anything small like that, or large pieces, I'm gonna throw on this table just so we have room. So the three of us will be sorting here a little bit. We gotta clean up this, got all these opened up. And built so I get photographs on them. 
great stuff. All right, it's going down. Mike says it's uh, 2.38. We started about two hours ago, just about two hours ago. Got these bags. We only have, we only have parts that were in the box now. And um, I already, already did three bags, so I'm working on the smaller stuff. One, two bags left out of 32. Small bags are going down. There these have two. All right. White, tan, red, stuff that comes later in the upload. Black, blue, grays, bright green, some dark colors. Great upload. Or I'll do it in the morning after I ship out everything on Tuesday. All right, Tuesday morning. Queen and a Princess, Ultron, Troll, or Warrior, that dude from Ninjago, the head, Rancor Trainer, and uh, Cyclops, and four other Star Wars eBay sales. Gotta get to do some order pulling in the middle of the sea of parts. 823, 6 on Brickling, 2 on Brick Owl. 105 lots, so it's not much. $142. Wow. What a contrast. So we got 34 lots, 29 lots, and the rest are, there's an 11 lot and a 15, so the rest are really low. Should be quick. Should probably get that taken care of. And uh, from there, I'm going to try to spend my day rest on eBay sports cards, and then I have all this stuff. It's photos, oh, like the series uh, 23. That's my first priority. I'm going to photo the, all 12 of them and put them for sale immediately before I would do anything else after all this. First order, I wake up to a, a nice uh, note. Your store set up in your vlogs is awesome, and your online stock is equally impressive. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. It's a lot of work. I have a sore neck after this uh, <laughs> looking down all day. I only sorted, well I probably sorted 40% of the parts. I started it an hour before I helped it, so. One, two, three, four. And I did not have a 20 minute break. I had a few two or three minute breaks. Get water, which I left here. Looks good. Six thirty-two is ten. That's awesome. Thanks for coming to the store and appreciate the comments. As always, it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some good colors. Last part. And at this base plate. It's awesome. It's great condition. Order number four is a note. Thanks. Modifying the Galaxy Explorer to be red per my son's request. Enjoying the YouTube channel. He's he doesn't know about the old one, I guess. No. <laughs> That's cool. I love seeing stuff like that at the, at the conventions where they take an old set, change all the colors. Uh, what was it? There was like a um, one of those big walkers, the Star Wars ones that was made. I can't even remember what it looked like, but it was quite cool. Uh, 840 is 10, so that's awesome. Space, old space is awesome. It could be the new space, the new one they just released. It's possible. Two, three. I always tell people when I'm talking to them about Lego that don't know too much about it, like, oh, they just re release so much stuff. It's hard, hard to keep up, but, you know, I'm trying to, trying to please everyone, and I get it. You cannot collect it all unless you have a huge amount of excess funds to do that with in a lot of space. <laughs> but if you just take one set and just 
make fun like this. This is just this is the way to do it. Make memories of changing things up, and it's a lot of fun. It can be fun. I'm not a builder. I always tell people I have to tell people that because they they think that I do a lot of stuff with Lego. Sometimes they just assume that I don't have time, and I don't know if I would. I was an adult for. 22 years and never touched it until I started selling it. So, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. All right, that's about it for this order. I'll film, but I have been enjoying building my minifigure stands. It's been an adventure, so <laughs> it has been fun. I do, I do look forward to actually like modifying them and changing them so awesome thanks for the order i'm sure it's going to be awesome and go turn into a red galaxy explorer good stuff let's put away 627 we're done shipping gotta get my coffee you know a decaf and then Get this cleaned up. Yeah. 15,000 parts on the table. Tables. <laughs>